We meditate is food for the mind. Good food. If the mind doesn't get this kind of food, then it's going to go wandering off and nibbling at other things, a lot of which can be really bad for it. So focus on the breath. As Buddha said, the pleasure, the sense of well-being that comes from a concentrated mind is blameless, both in the sense that it doesn't harm you and doesn't harm anybody else, and in the sense that it doesn't make the mind intoxicated. A lot of the pleasures of the world out there are pretty intoxicating. You get under their sway and your mind begins to get blurry, gets dulled, whereas this makes your mind clear, so you can see clearly what's going on inside and outside. So it's a good pleasure, it's a good food. You nourish this food by the qualities that the Buddha calls the five strengths. You have conviction that training the mind is a good thing, and it's going to make a difference not only right now as you're meditating, but as you go through the day, as you go through your life. And then there's persistence. You stick with it. As you stick with it, the concentration grows. If you stick it with it a little bit and then run away and come back for a little bit and run away, it doesn't have a chance to grow. It's like a plant that you sometimes water and then you forget for a couple months and then it's about to die and you get watered again a little bit. It may stay alive, but it's not going to thrive. But if you stick with it, it's going to thrive. Look after it day after day after day and it's going to grow. That's persistence. Mindfulness is remembering to stay here. Concentration is getting the mind to settle in. This is the part where it really becomes good food. The sense of ease and well-being that come from a mind that's still with a comfortable object. And then the discernment that allows you to see what you're latching on to that's creating trouble for the mind. What kind of food you're feeding on that's actually bad for you. You start getting on a good diet and you begin to realize the things you used to like you could, can't take anymore. It's like sugar. You go without sugar for a while, then it comes, there comes a point where you realize that sugar is not good for you at all. You, have, you lose your desire for it. That's, what dis, that's how discernment helps you. All these things help to strengthen the mind, nourish the mind, give it really good food. So that the pleasure that comes from concentration is not something that's going to waste you away, it's actually something that's going to strengthen you. So this kind of food, it's hard to say that you can get too much of it. As you go through the day, try to keep the mind centered, and you'll find that it feels well fed as you go through the day and you're less hungry for other things. This is how you get the mind on a new diet.